guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back for another video. As you guys can see from the title. I'm so, why do I do that voice? I don't know why I do that voice, but I'm just so excited to film this video. Every time I film this misguided hauls, I feel like I'm like a new burst of energy comes through on my channel because I'm just so excited. This is going to be a misguided haul. If you guys have clicked on it, I'm sure you already know what it is. Um, my last video seems to go down really well. I think you guys really enjoyed it. I got some great feedback from it. So I thought I'd film another one of these videos. Before I jump into it, if you've not already checked out my last video, I'm going to leave a link to it somewhere around here and in the description box. It is a giveaway, so if you want to be in with a chance of winning something, go and check that video out. If you're not interested, that's cool, but I just thought I would let you guys know. Okay guys, so I'm going to film this like I filmed my last video. Basically, going to pull things out, chat to you about them, and then I'm going to do a little cutaway of me actually trying the items on. I just feel like you get a way more better in-depth review of what I actually think of the quality and how they actually look on and stuff like that if I film it like that. But if you're not a fan of that of that style of filming, let me know in the comments and I'll change up for my next video. Okay guys, I'm gonna start with the biggest item and that is this blue ultimate oversized padded jacket. As always, I'm gonna have everything linked below. Hopefully it's all still available online. I will leave it linked in order of mention so you guys can just click straight on the link. So this is the coat, um, it's going to look better in the cutaway, you'll be able to see it more. I went for blue purely because I don't have anything this kind of colour and I thought it was really, really cool. I thought I made a change from the standard kind of black coats that are um, in this sort of style. They were in loads last year and they seem to have like retained their sort of style and they're still in again this year, which is great if you pick one up last year. I did actually pick one up, but it was in baby pink, I wanted to get one in another colour. I've just popped this on just quickly to see um, what I think of it. And this is a warm coat. Like this is gonna be my winter coat. This is so good if you're like running to the shops, if you need to put petrol in your car in the middle of the night, that always seems to happen to me. I feel like if you need errands and you need a really warm coat, this is perfect. I also think if you're at university, this is like the perfect coat to purchase. By the way, I'm thinking of doing a university lookbook with some of this stuff and just some of the stuff that I've recently been buying. Please let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see that. I think it would be really, really helpful for some of you. Um, yeah, but this would be amazing if you're a student. Literally love this coat. Firstly, it feels like a pillow, like it feels like an actual duvet. I actually love the blue, I'm so surprised. Originally I wanted this in black and it was sold out in black and I was so upset. I'm so happy it was sold out in black. Like, the blue is way, I just don't, I don't know, I think it looks a little bit cooler um, and it's different and I can still wear it with black. This is in a size 10, so you need to remember to go down a size if you don't want it too big. I am typically a size 12 in coats, but I mean, this is still, I've got so much space in here. Like I could happily wear a huge jumper under here, which is gonna be good for the winter, but if you don't want something too big, I would go down a size. I'm so impressed with this. I think this is one of the favorite things I picked up. I love it, I honestly love it. Misguided have done so well on their coat front. Hey guys, the next thing are a pair of joggers. These are the navy contrast side, jog side joggers in a size 10. I'm a bit worried about these because I am either a size 10 or a size 12 and I normally have to try on. I think these might look better on me if I was a size, if I'd got a size up. But we'll try them anyway. These are just a navy, pair of joggers with the white stripe down the side. If you guys have Instagram or have been following anyone on Instagram, you will know how in trend these are. Like everyone is wearing these. And I thought these would be like a really good alternative to like an actual pair of joggers because they're, the material is kind of like a crepe material. I love the look of these. They look really comfy. They've got a drawstring. So I feel like hopefully they'll be stretchy enough for me. Um, I actually really like the look of these and I love navy at the moment. So. This white stripe as well feels like a really nice quality. I don't know what it is, but they look really good. They're really ta tailored at the ankles as well. I just think I might have needed to go a size up. They definitely look better on than I thought they were gonna look. The only thing I'm gonna say with them is I definitely would have needed a neck size up. I definitely would have needed the 12. I think kind of for wearing them around the house, wearing them out every now and again, I can get away with it. I'd probably rather prefer to wear them with a longer top than this cropped one that I've got on right now. Um, but I don't hate them. So if you guys can see, I prefer how they fit at the bottom of my leg from like here downwards to how I do here, but I would still wear them with a long t-shirt. I guess, oh, this I have like wanted for so long. This is a pinstripe stripe blazer. It's in the size medium. And these are so trendy at the moment, aren't they? With like mum jeans and like white trainers and 
this feels like amazing quality this actually looks great this is what this looks like again it's going to look better in the cutaway so i will insert that what i'm loving about this is i've seen one that is exactly the same in um top shop and it's really expensive so hopefully if this one looks nice on this is going to be like a cheap alternative i think these are so trendy at the moment these pinstripe blazers and i'm really really loving it i love that it's in black as well because black goes with everything in my wardrobe so fingers crossed this is going to look nice on hopefully i can roll up the sleeves and make it look a little bit more sort of rough and tough um but I love this. I really like these stripes as well. And blazers are something that are classic. Like, I feel like they come back time and time again. Like, I have some blazers in my wardrobe that I've had for years. And yes, there'll be some winter months where I won't wear them. But then there'll be some where I, like, wear them religiously. So, fingers crossed this is going to look good on. Okay, guys. So, this is the pinstripe blazer. Um, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get my self in the frame. But I know it's really, really hard. I've just stuck it on with some basic denim jeans and a white top. Um, because this is how I would tend to wear it with some black kind of shoes I would wear it with the sleeves like this a little bit more just to make it look a little bit less smart um, I actually personally love this fit because it is for me the perfect amount of like bagginess like it's not too boxy it does go in ever so slightly so if you want that really 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 oversized look I'd go up a size but if you want it that for me this is perfect because not too tailored it's still you know pretty boxy but it does go in ever so slightly um which i think is quite flattering i actually really like this i think this is so so nice um i'm really impressed with how it looks this is the back i actually i'm really really loving this so yeah i'm happy i got this okay, if guys, you want to onto a pair of shoes and these i am excited to show you these are so cool Oh my god, I actually saw literally this shoe in Topshop today. They are dupes for these Topshop shoes that are really expensive. So these are them. Aren't they so nice? Okay, so they are this kind of like, I know this is really, really trendy at the moment, this kind of shoe. They do these in a red colour, which look so cool. But I just thought for practical reasons, the black I'm probably going to be able to get away with wearing more frequently. They have all this silver hardware, which if you're a silver hardware kind of girl like me, you're going to love them. They do have a little bit of a heel, but that for me, I could definitely wear that in the day. And I'm quite tall and I think it would be all right. These are gorgeous look at these they look great misguided lately is coming through with the shoes like i purchased a pair of shoes from them in my last haul video which i'll leave a link to below and i was so impressed with the quality i wore those shoes on so many nights out and they are so comfortable as well but their shoe game has really gone up lately i think it's because they have to compete now with like public desire and other kind of brands but the fact that you can get these these are honestly like the top shot ones and they just they look like such good quality they look so well made so hopefully I will be able to wear these with cute little skirts and tights in the winter. Hopefully even jeans really and maybe that blazer they might look quite cool with. So oh, I'm so happy that I got these. Okay guys the next item I have to show you is this oversized jacket. I believe this was about 50 or 40 pounds but this is such good quality like it's so thick and heavy the only thing i'm going to say about this is if you're not a fan of oversized items you might want to go down a size i actually did go down a size i got this in a size 10 and it's still really oversized so if you are someone that doesn't like their clothes really really big and baggy you might want to go down a size in this because it's honestly like huge but i love that look that kind of it looks like your boyfriend's jacket or something even if you don't have a boyfriend um yeah, it looks like, like you're wearing your boyfriend's jacket or something. I think it's a great layering piece as well to wear with um, kind of hoodies. And again, I think this is another thing that for university students would be such a good piece to your wardrobe. You could also take this on nights out and just wear it like over your shoulders. I think that looks really, really cool. So this is the distressed one. It is really quite distressed, but it's super, super cool. So... I'm loving this and they do this in a denim style as well I, I believe which I will also leave a link to below if you're more into the kind of blue denim than the black denim. This I have been wearing and loving. This is, I hope I can get it all in the frame, a massive kind of distressed rugged denim jacket 
oh I love it the thing that I love about it is it's not black and it's um, not grey it's kind of that like washed out black which I really like it makes it look a little bit older it's all distressed and frayed it's really heavy which means it is going to keep you warm if you wanted to kind of layer this going into the autumn winter season I also think you could wear this with a lot of hoodies underneath to keep you super warm um, I love it, I honestly love it. I actually wore this out the other night with a t-shirt dress and boots, which is another way I love to wear it. I love to wear it like this, you know how you kind of see like Selena Gomez used to rock her um, jackets like this, kind of off the shoulders, super casual. Um, you can roll them up, like it's just such a nice jacket. I'm so happy with it. I this is one of my favourite things. I actually was wearing this today. I'm obsessed with it. Guys, this next item I actually recent wore, recently wore to a job interview, which I'm yet to hear back about, but hopefully it was it was okay. I don't know. She said she liked the dress, so at least at least the lady liked the dress. This is the misguided wrap dress. This I got in a size large, which I don't normally do. The reason I got it in a size large is on the website I couldn't tell if it was an actual wrap dress or not, or if it was one that I had to like pull over my head. So I ended up getting in a large. Um, I could have definitely got the medium, but I'm actually really happy I got the large because lengthwise it's quite long, so I can wear it without tights and it's not really, really short. And the nice thing is, because it's a wrap dress, I can adjust it and the top is not too big for me. So this is lovely. It's just black and white spots, which I know isn't for everyone, but I feel like it's a bit of a classic print. It doesn't really go out a little bit like stripes. So this is just one of those really flattering dresses that cuts um, round the front and ties up round the back. I love this, as you guys are going to see from the cutaway. Okay, guys, I'm trying to get this whole thing in the shot, but I don't think I am. Hopefully you can see the kind of length that it is. This is the spotted kind of wrap dress, something which online does not look like a lot. It, it, I mean, I was I liked it because obviously I picked it up, but I didn't think it was going to be my, one of my favourite things. This is one of my favourite things. I actually love this. I think, I honestly think this kind of cut of dress is so flattering on so many different people, especially if you are like me, you have much broader hips, but a smaller kind of top half. Um... I really, really like this. I would wear this in the winter with um, tights and boots and I would also wear this without and with like a leather jacket or just on its own like this. I think this is great for work, great for kind of like those smart casual things which are always difficult to dress for. Okay guys, now on to casual wear. I've got two kind of hoodies here. Um, I will start with the first one which is a little bit more quirky some of you guys might not be into this this is that material like that sports luxe kind of material that adidas nylony material that i know not everyone likes but i actually really really like it i find it so comfortable um this is in a uk 12 now it is a little bit boxy for me but i actually quite like that it is a cropped hoodie so it looks like this it's just plain black and white with the big strings and then the arms are really really cool they look like this the back is super cool, just looks like that, which I just thought was quite cool. Um, I think layered with that black denim jacket, this looks really nice. You could just wear this really casual with a pair of black jeans. I actually wore this on a night out with a skirt and that denim jacket. Um, I wore it to Camden with some black boots and I really liked how it looked. But obviously um, you could wear this so many ways. I think you could wear this literally chilling in the house and then I think you could make it a little bit more dressy and get away with wearing it for a night out like I did. But I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, so I also have here another jumper. This is the next kind of jumper that I've got. This is definitely that sports luxe vibe, so if that is a trend that you're not a fan of, you probably won't like this. But I actually pleasantly am so surprised. I'm really happy that I actually got this in a 12 and not a 10, because I like that it's really kind of loose and baggy. Um, and I think the 10 probably would have been a little bit too cropped for me. This one is definitely for any of my uni students out there. Um, this is a... This is called the White Oakland Slogan Sweatshirt and this is in a size medium. This is cropped, so it looks like this. It's like one of their little cropped hoodies. Um, and it just has this basic print across the front. Um, it says United States, California, Oakland there. I actually really like this. This reminds me a lot of the kind of vintage jumpers that are so trendy at the moment. Um, and I keep seeing in Topshop. This is definitely that kind of style, but obviously for a lot less money and I really like the crop. I think nowadays everyone wears high-waisted jeans so it's quite nice to have a cropped jumper. Okay, guys, this is the Oakland jumper. Oh, I love it. I think this is fabulous. Um, this again is another great piece for my uni 
anyone who's going to uni or is at uni, this is so fab because you can wear this with exactly what I'm wearing with just a pair of high-waisted mum jeans, which can be quite difficult sometimes to wear hoodies with because the hoodies tend to kind of come down really, really low. At least this one is already cropped for you. Um, I think this looks great. Um, definitely something that I would wear if I was at uni. I'm still going to wear it now. Okay, guys, and yeah. lastly, this is an item I'm so excited to try on. This is called the... Popper sleeve detail mini dress. I have such an idea for how I want to wear this. Um, I got this in a size 10, which hopefully will be okay. It won't be too short. But because I knew it was stretchy, I didn't want to get it in a size 12. Um, this is basically just a cream knitted dress, which I really like. Long sleeved, so useful for the winter time. But it has these really cool poppers down the arms, which I know lately we've been seeing the poppers on the trousers, but I thought pop the poppers on the arms was something a little bit different. Guys, and this is the final item for you. I'm not wearing the right underwear for this. It's definitely a little bit see-through with my bright lights. But I think this, again, is one of the fave things that I actually picked up. This is so lovely. I feel like this is very, like, Love Island, like Olivia from Love Island. Um, it has the poppers down the arms, which I really like this. I think this is so nice. I've seen Zara doing this a lot, and I really, really like it. Um, it just adds something to a basic kind of thing. I love this colour. This is one of my favourite colours, this kind of beigey, creamy colour. Um, it is just your average kind of knitted dress but I think this is so nice and again what I'm planning on wearing this with is knee high thigh high kind of black boots and like a black either that black denim jacket would look great or like a black leather jacket okay guys that was everything from misguided I know this has been like the longest video so if you made it to the end well done to you because I don't think a lot of you will make it through to the end I hope you all enjoyed this video like I said I'm gonna leave links to everything misguided below because they are literally smashing it at the moment their stuff is so on trend they're just so current and new and I'm, I'm loving it. I'm honestly loving it. I think if you're a student, this is one of the best places to shop. I also think if you're going into the work environment, they do have things that you could definitely get away with at work. You just have to dress them a certain way. So I'm going to leave everything below. I'm going to leave all of my links below and links to my other misguided hauls if you guys want to go and just have a misguided haul day where you just watch them on repeat. I do that all the time. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. That way I know you guys are enjoying my content and hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will catch you in my next one. Bye guys.